What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Mike Life. Today we're going to do a video on this newly released brush by Obsessed Garage. I think it's a collab of some sort with the Detail Factory. They make the Detail Factory brushes, those nice beautiful brushes. Anyway, yeah, this is their tire applicator brush, all new. I've been using the Race, I think it's the Race Glaze XL, which is this one here, which you could also get off of Obsessed Garage. I've been using this to do my tires, to paint basically the tire protection, tire dressing on it. So when I saw this come out, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. I wanna see if it's good, just as good as this, because I think this is awesome, or is it better? So in this video, we're gonna do that. But before we test it out, a little update for the people that follow the garage here in New York, my New York garage. I finally got the electric done in here. Let me show you guys. There we go. We got my dedicated 20 amp now for the AR. Yeah, this section is looking sweet. Super excited about that. Also added some more electrical here. Now I got an outdoor for outside for my plugs. New plugs over here. Got some more right there. And one straight ahead. So yeah, super excited. I'll have to run no more extension cords. We have two separate circuits in this garage, so it's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited about that. So no more running extensions in this garage for everything. I'm super happy about that. It was getting annoying for me to run that extension to go out to the house so I could have my dedicated 20 amp. Now we got it inside the garage. Super happy. So let's check out the brush. There's the back of the brush, Detail Factory, Obsessed Garage, basically care and maintenance for the brush. Let's open it up. The box is nice looking. It's got the uh, Obsessed Garage hex going on. All right, let's slip this out. And there it is. Now, when it comes to feel on how soft this is, you see, it's almost as soft as these brushes. These are just regular in interior cleaning brushes or even exterior. So it's almost just as soft. If anything, it's basically the same softness on both. Me personally, I like how tough this is. The, the boar's hair that's on here, I like this. So it's gonna be interesting. Nice color theme on there. We got gray, black, and then over here it's rubberized. And this also has the Obsessed Garage X. I don't know if the camera's gonna make it out, but yeah, it's very nice. Over here, little hole so you can hang it up. Look at that little defect right there. I guess that's from them uh, hanging it when they made the plastic mold. I think that's where it's from. So tires have been already cleaned. Everything has been cleaned on here. And this is what I've been using lately. This uh, Adams Polishes Graphene Tire Dressing. I've been really enjoying using this. This is actually my second bottle of this. We'll be using this stuff here. So what I like to do is grab my brush bottle and just squirt some product on there. There we go. Now this is the first time I'm using this brush. So we'll see if I enjoy it. I don't know, it seems a little fat. I kind of wish it was a little bit smaller and this is a little bit thicker, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like how it applies. Uh, yeah. Application on here. These bristles are a little bit, in my opinion, a little too long for this application and too soft. Now here's the Race Glaze XL. See how bunched up it is? I like to spraying right in there like that. And now I could get right inside. See, and I could just paint the edge and don't have to worry about getting over like product on my wheels, my rims. So only on the tire. Get a little more on there. So basically when it comes to this brush, I think for tire application, it will do good if you have bigger tires. If you got an SUV or a pickup truck, something with big tires, this will be perfect for it. This is more of a low profile tire on here. I think this uh, Race Glaze XL, in my opinion, is better for the lower profile tires. But both products, pretty awesome. Even this here, not using it for this purpose, this is good for you to clean the outside of the car. Areas like this where you have your soapy water on there and you grab your brush and you clean in there. You don't have to worry about scratching the plastics on here. 
that's where this brush comes in, in my opinion, for an exterior brush, it will be perfect. So like I was saying before, the brush itself is an awesome brush for doing bigger tires. That's where this will come in more useful than low profile tires. Also, not only is it good for tires, it's also good for brushing, doing your exterior fine tuning, cleaning because of the soft bristles that are on here. Basically, same situation like these types of brushes, but obviously you'll get more surface with the Obsessed Garage version. Like you guys saw, as I'm trying to get in to get close to in between the wheel and the tire, you kind of, it's hard to get in there to fine tune it to get that tire dressing in there perfectly. This is where the Race Glaze XL just does it so perfect. So they're both good brushes. It's basically your preference, what type of vehicle you have and what the purpose of usage is. Me personally, I like having both of these in my arsenal. So if you're interested in both of these brushes, I will have links down below to Obsess Garage. I have direct links for their Nunu and this Race Glaze XL over here. And I'll also have an Amazon link for this stuff here. This is the Graphene Tire Dressing by Adams. I've been using this a lot. I really like it. And uh, I still have one more bottle of this. I bought three bottles. This is my second that's almost done. I got a third one. As soon as that's about halfway, I'm gonna go buy the one from Obsessed Garage. They got their own tire dressing because I wanna test that stuff out. I've been hearing good things about their tire dressing. So that'll be the next one in the purchasing list. So like I said, I'll have links down below for all of that. And if you guys like these types of videos and you wanna help the channel out, use those links down below. They are affiliate links. They do help out the channel. This way I make a small commission and then I could buy more products. These products that I'm showing today, I purchased out of my own pocket. So like I said, if you enjoy these types of video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know your favorite tire dressing and how you apply it. Thank you all for watching this episode of Mike Life.